and good. <laughs> I feel like I've been on this tour for days. So this is officially like basically day two. And honest to God, I feel like yesterday was probably one of the longest days of my life. In a good way and a bad way. We did a nine hour bus ride last night. Which I haven't done for a while. Um, and basically we got to Luxor last night. Um, so basically we did a full day of activities yesterday. So we early start like seven o'clock in the morning and then we um, finished about four. And so we saw loads yesterday, absolutely loads. Like I was absolutely knackered. Um, and then we got to do the bus ride seven. No, ooh, whoops. Um, and then we did the nine hour bus ride to Luxor. Um, so we're here now. Um, this hotel is lovely, lovely. Like all these hotels are like five star accommodation, but it's a shame that we didn't get really get much time to sleep in it. <laughs> this is our room. It's very messy at the moment. The bathroom is a bit destroyed right now, but the, the, honestly, this accommodation is just amazing. However, <laughs> the noise outside is a bit horrendous. Um, there was lots of beeping and there's a rooster, no joke. And the call to prayer was going on all last night. Like no joke. I thought it was just during the day. No, it goes on during the night too. I'm a bit knackered, a bit tired. Today we're doing Luxor. Um, we're going to the ruins there. Um, and then we're going to ruins, temple. I don't know. And then we're going to um, a lady's house for dinner. Um, so we can get an authentic Egyptian family meal experience. And then we are going to do the cruise. So the cruise is, so everyone's all together on this trip. And then there, are, um, if you ever book on Travel Talk, you'll see that there's three different options. One by Overland, one by Felucia, and one by Nile. Um, by Nile Cruise, which is the option that I've picked. So everyone is doing a different option of those. So everyone is all together. And then you just do one of those options for the Nile segment. Um, and then we meet each other at the other end, or we do we meet each other at the excursions as well, and um, when we're recruited back together at the other end. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of us doing the Nile cruise today, um, but everyone else is mostly doing the Felucia, um, which is like a yacht sort of experience, a uh, sailboat. Um, but I'm doing that kind of experience in in another somewhere down the line. <laughs> Excited about today, um, but I'm absolutely knackered and I'm gonna get some food and there's finally Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna go and use that quickly before we have to leave. <laughs> oh, and guess he was sick. Again, travel sick. This girl here. Doesn't take much to knock me off. I guess he forgot the travel sickness tablets. This girl, this girl right here. <gasps> Why? I don't understand. I don't know how I understand I do it, but yeah, I've got some from the pharmacy here, but oh my God, how so, so dramatic, so dramatic. <laughs> After Karnak Temple, we're going to the Papyrus Gallery. We're going to see the, the step, Papyrus step, what was sacred and how the Egyptian transport this step into paper. This is clearly being held together by blue tag. <laughs> Here, you open the doors and take the sand out. So they use a stone called Deirai, which is a hard stone. That Deirai stone, they, they dig the channel around that piece. They'll take it out. So now it's free from the sides, free from the sides, but it's still attached from the bottom to the bedrock. So how do you separate it from the bedrock? Just to take a little. Bit.
by Ra, the circuit. Setim Era, the one chosen by Ra. So his full name is Wizard Matra Setim and Ra. The strength of justice of Ra, the one who chosen by Ra. We are in Luxor. <laughs> Hieroglyphics are insane. There's a bunch of pillars over there, we're gonna go back to them. It's like being on um, Sam's history class, I feel. <laughs> Do you feel like it's um, kind of like a history lesson every day? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, no. I think this is one of the most informative tours I've ever had. Like, stuff like this is insane. explain to you how the Egyptian transformed this plant into that paper, the papyrus paper, okay? So please watch what we're gonna do here. Morning. Welcome, you're in our Institute of Papyrus. So this is a papyrus plant from which the ancient Egyptian made the papyrus papers. And this plant is an aquatic and tropical one. To make papyrus papers, we cut the stem into required sizes. If we would like to make a big one like this, we cut big pieces of the stems. Small one, small piece of the stem. And the next step is removing the outer green part, which was used by the ancient Egyptians to make many different things, such as slippers, boats, mats, and different things. So we divide this part into slices, but these slices can be damaged, can be broken because there is a big amount of water here. To use a wooden hammer and rolling pen, to squeeze the slices to get rid of the water completely. Slices became very strong, flexible. We put the slices in water for six days to get white papyrus and for two weeks to get brown. After six days or whatever, we bring two pieces of carpet and we arrange the slices just in vertical and horizontal lines. And the slices oh must be overlapped. After completing the vertical layer, we arrange the horizontal ones. Like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like art attack. Everyone's dedicated watching people draw. <laughs> Checking out the view. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. This is hilarious though. I actually feel like Rose and Titanic right now. Look at that. Or Jack, because I'm the one staring in, but never mind. Oh my god, this is so fancy! <laughs>
by the way, by the way, this is Ola, the lady of the house. She speaks quite good English. So please, don't like if you're interested after that, you go and talk to her, ask her anything. Please be free. No, that has to be a lie. That's not even moving. No, this is a joke. <laughs> oh my god! No, no, no! Let's not get him out. What's its name? My name is Sahab. No, what's the what's the crocodile? Uh, crocodile. You just call it crocodile. <laughs> All right, crocodile. <laughs> Literally, dining room. Kitchen, crocodile. realized I've just wiped off a perfect full face of makeup on to give a roundup of the day. Why have I done this? <laughs> this is going on the internet. <laughs> what an idiot. Tonight was fun. I'm not quite sure about the whole crocodile in a cage situation tonight. Personally, I, I don't feel like that's a very responsible travel thing to do. Um, to bring tourists to that sort of attraction. But the family was lovely, the food was great, the entertainment was fantastic, it was a great night. That was just my one little thing that I really just thought was odd and not really okay. But it was funny, <laughs> very random thing, but a crocodile? <laughs> very weird. Um, we're all absolutely knackered though. Um, seven of us are on the cruise and the rest of the team are on the Volusia boats, but they're in a hotel tonight and then they go on the boats tomorrow. Um, we are all at <laughs> Boar <laughs> tomorrow. Um, we've all booked um, an optional extra to go and see um, the Abu Temple. I can't remember its full name. It's basically the four men in the mountain. <laughs> That's what I've been calling it, but um, yeah, I'm very excited for that, but it's gonna take three hours to get there and Then we're gonna spend two hours there and then three hours back again So I'm gonna spend those three hours sleeping, but then we're back on the boat. Well, we're gonna be drinking partying in the pool Yeah, Tomorrow's gonna be fun As soon as I as long as I get some sleep So yeah, I'll see you in the morning